I took two dying piglets from a factory farm to the vet, and they called me a terrorist. Then they sent FBI agents to hunt down the pigs. We rescued the piglets as part of an investigation into the largest pig farm in the nation, Chinese-owned Smithfield Foods. Inside, we found horrifying diseases. Animals crammed in tiny cages and cases of dangerous antibiotics. But when we reported these abuses and tried to save two dying piglets, they didn't go after the company. They came after us. I got a frantic call from a friend at an animal sanctuary. They said a dozen armed FBI agents had shown up and they were looking for two baby pigs. They even followed some of the volunteers home and interrogated them. It was like a bad movie. Now we're facing up to 70 years in prison and six felony charges brought in part by prosecutors who are being paid by Smithfield Foods. The FBI never recovered the pigs. People ask, why is the government wasting taxpayer money chasing pigs across state lines? The answer, money and politics. A lot of people know about the Koch brothers and big oil, but they don't know that a factory farm was one of the five largest contributors to Donald Trump's 2016 campaign. Big ag gives millions of dollars to politicians and they get three very important things in return. Under the Trump administration's new rules, factory farmers can label their products as organic and giving outdoor access, even if they raise their animals indoors their entire lives in crowded sheds, as long as they have a little window to the outdoors. And Trump reversed an Obama-era rule that prevented drugs, chemicals, and animal feces, disgusting things we find in factory farms, all from getting in your drinking water. Second, corporate welfare. When Trump announced a bailout of farmers who had been hurt by his trade war with China, it was Smithfield, a Chinese-owned company that would turn out to be one of the largest beneficiaries of the bailout. And when activists tried to put common sense restrictions on the subsidies, asking the government to limit payments to millionaires, Trump instead expanded the program. Factory farming is an industry where you can be a millionaire on welfare. Third, silencing whistleblowers. In states controlled by Big Ag, allies of Donald Trump have passed laws making it a crime to take a photograph of abuse in a factory farm. And for the first time in history, nonviolent activists are facing serious felony charges for factory farm investigations and rescues. The reason, quite simply, is the industry recognizes the truth is a threat to its profits. I don't want to go to prison, but I don't regret what we did either. Factory farms have a stranglehold on our food system, and they're threatening our families, our climate, and our conscience. I think when we present our case before a jury of our peers and the American public, we will win. Because the future of our food system depends on us confronting the truth and the corporations who want to hide it from us.